So now that you know that reprogramming the subconscious mind is how you get success in trading from watching the previous video, there's one step that you need to learn and practice right from the beginning in order to pick yourself up after the falls that you may have experienced before and to recover from any state of defeat or failure, any of the states that you may have been feeling during the learning process of how to learn to trade. This is going to make so much sense to you when you see the normal natural process of how people learn to trade and what happens to them during that process. You're going to need this extra power and motivation in order to be able to do all the rest of the steps in this journey of self-discovery and mastery in trading. So in order to do this, there's a technique called anchoring. And I'm going to show you the additional levels to how to get anchoring to really work for you and to become something that will be a part of your lifetime skill in mastery. If you can learn to generate or elicit states of consciousness, states of emotion, and be able to do that at will throughout your life, just think of how that is going to empower you moving forward. If you can just instantly generate and elicit a state of total confidence, calmness, success, all these different passion and so forth that most people don't even know how it feels or can't generate the feelings, if you can do that at will, it will be something that will empower you for the rest of your life. During the process of learning how to trade, every trader will experience intense emotions and states of feeling devastation, failure, low self-esteem, stress, anxiety, all the states that are associated with losing trades. And many traders will start to automatically experience and trigger those feelings because they are anchored every time they sit at their computer and start to go through the process of looking at charts. You're doing this over and over and you have all these losing trades and then it starts to be automatic. You sit at your computer and you start to feel tension, anxiety. Some people tell me they feel nausea or they have headaches. Their palms are sweaty. They start to feel all these feelings of anxiety because it's already been anchored in there. Have you ever felt like you can't really look into the account and see how much money it is because it's too painful? If you're learning to trade, how could you not go through that experience? How could you not? Because that's part of how you would ever become successful. There's no way that anybody could become successful in trading without having done that for a long period of time. So that's another reason why trading is something that is only going to be mastered by the strong character. A person who has a very strong character, the weak, they're not going to be able to make it because they can't, they can't manage that. They don't have the strength to be able to go through that and keep on going. Now, this is why learning to practice EFT tapping and deep breathing relaxation exercises is also critical. And that's covered in another section. You may have a variety of bad feelings stuck in your body, in your gut, in your chest, in your face, in your forehead, and all throughout your body and your nervous system because it's been anchored there from all of the, the repetitions of experiencing losing trades that is inevitable. And then what does that do? It leads to more losses because then that becomes a cycle. You experience the anxiety, the, the bad feelings, and then you cause it to happen again. Now, of course, you didn't mean to anchor those feelings. That's not what you wanted to happen, but it's kind of inevitable in this business. How could anyone not experience this while learning to trade? Only the strong, determined person will survive in trading and the rest of the people will just end up giving up and succumbing to their negative emotions and their negative thinking as well. The thoughts like, oh, this will never work. As soon as you say, oh, this will not work. You know, if this, this will not work, that is telling yourself that will not work. 
So that's why you have to tell yourself, this will work. This will keep on working. I will make this work. And a person has to deliberately program into their minds thoughts and feelings, states of success. And especially, you have to deliberately do this to overcome the negative anchors that you've already created. So when you are learning to trade, you should know that after you have perfected this and practiced it and had enough repetitions and thrown the pass thousands of times before, and then you see, okay, now I'm able to do this because I see in my own results that I've been able to do this over and over and over year in and year out. And if you're going to create your own success in trading, how is this going to happen? It will happen by mastering the ability to create states of success deliberately at will, eliciting states of success. Let's say that I demonstrate to you and show you all the things that all the insights that I've discovered over the years things that you can use to bypass a lot of trial and error. So, so you can see right away some of the things that will enable you to understand how markets work, know what actually works in trading. If I show you all these things, you could save a lot of time. And many people will never find these things out and they'll just keep trying things that don't work. So you do have an amazing opportunity to learn things a lot faster. But even if I show you everything that I know, will you instantly have the skill yourself? Each person has to have the number of repetitions of observing things to learn that they're true, to learn what does it feel like to get in a good trade? What does it feel like to get in a bad trade? What causes a good trade? What is it that really causes a losing trade? Some people have never made the connection. They don't know what causes a winning trade and what causes a losing trade. And they're given all of these things to look at, which they think is helping them to increase the number of winning trades. And in reality, it's not even related to whether you're going to have a winning trade or a losing trade because it's not related to what the market is actually doing in a way that you can know and test that it's true. So if you can know and test that something is true about the market, you can see it and do it over and over again, that will greatly accelerate the ability to develop the skill that you need to have consistent increase in trading. So since it's not possible to develop this skill without having every kind of almost hitting a mark, every type of almost making the pass, almost catching the ball, all these types of things, you have to practice it and experience every level of almost doing it in order to have the ability to know what it's like to actually do it and then to be able to do that a high percentage of the time since it's not possible to learn without having those negative experiences associated with that, you're going to have to be able to withstand losing accounts. So one of the things you could do is just to have a little bit of logic about this. When people go to college, they will enroll in the college and they'll pay like easily a thousand dollars per class. And then they'll know from the beginning, I'm just taking one class. I'm a long way from having my degree, doing whatever it is that I'm studying to do, and yet they'll gladly do that over and over, go back and pay another thousand dollars per class and take five, six, seven classes per quarter, per semester and pay all this money. And yet when it comes to trading, people are so illogical and unrealistic about what, what's supposed to happen that they can open one account why is it that people would have some kind of an expectation that they're not going to lose their account while they're learning to trade? If you're learning to trade, you should probably experience losing your account many times because you're going to be trading and trading and practicing and practicing. And during that time, you will be losing because you have not developed the skill yet. So after you have developed the skill, then you can 
have increase in capital. So how long does it take to get to that point? It's different for every person. We can help you to accelerate the process to be able to do that as quickly as possible, but still you're gonna to have to go through that experience. Still you're gonna to have to experience every type of winning trade, every type of losing trade, and practice and practice until you get the skill. So it's all in the attitude and in, in the mind. If you were to say, wow, this is excellent. It took me a lot longer to lose my account this time. I'm maintaining a break even a lot of the time. That means I'm almost there. That means I just gotta tweak my strategy a little bit until I get to the point where I'm actually seeing increase in capital over a long period of time. And also in trading, you know, people, everyone, if you enter trades, you could have a series of trades that are winning and then you'll just think, oh, now I'm a winning trader, not realizing that that's just by chance. You have to demonstrate over a long period of time, consistently higher number of winning trades over a long period of time, a year, two years, if you have a winning streak for, for a week or two, that's just chance. So here's how you're gonna overcome this challenge. First of all, besides the anchoring process that we're about to learn, you're gonna to need to learn EFT tapping, which is covered in another video later. You'll need to learn deep breathing, which is covered in another video as well. Anchoring is a technique to learn to elicit or trigger states of consciousness, states of emotion, and to be able to trigger them at will anytime that you need them. And collapsing an anchor is a way to get rid of an established anchor that you already have and replace it with a new installed positive anchor. And there's a way to do this right and take it to the highest level of effectiveness. I've seen this demonstrated in many NLP courses and what I'm seeing is like, okay, that sort of works, but what do you need to do to make it effective for a lifetime? And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So anchoring uses the process of conditioned response. This was made famous by the guy named Pavlov who demonstrated that he would ring a bell, give some food to it, some dogs, and then eventually he could just ring the bell and the dogs would start to salivate. No kidding. And that doesn't seem like that great of a discovery, but it's something that is known in our society because you can see everyone knows if you mention Pavlov's dog. The real discovery that's, that's great is to know how to use that principle to do something amazing. So the interesting thing is that we all are experiencing anchors throughout our lives. And we're just not referring to it with that term, but you're already experiencing all kinds of anchors all the time. Anytime an image or a sight, a sound, or a sensation is repeated over and over and associated with a state. So have you ever heard a song on the radio? It was really popular maybe when you're in high school or a period of time when you, you were younger than you are now. And then you haven't heard it for a long time. It's especially effective if you haven't heard it for a long time. And then all of a sudden you hear it. You ever notice how it generates the feeling that you had way back then? I was in a bookstore recently and they have this background. Uh, music is playing. I'm looking at books. And then they start playing this song that was popular when I was in high school. Steely Dan, Ricky, don't lose that number. Okay, I don't even like the song, but I heard it over and over and over during a certain period of time, and then instantly comes flooding back into my body, my mind, my, my emotions, the sensations, the state that I had is reminding me, all these memories come flooding back about how I felt, what I was thinking at that time. 
it's especially effective if there was a real popular song that was played over and over. You can actually go back and look at top hits of this year, and then some of them never made it into the next years. Some of them didn't become classics. You know, the classics, they're still played over and over even today. But the ones that didn't become classics, especially, you, you never heard them ever again. You listen to that song, and all of a sudden you will experience this because one of the things that makes a good anchor is the uniqueness of the experience and the repetition of it. And so like when we're installing an anchor based on a sensation of pressing on a part of our body, it needs to be a unique type of, of sensation that you don't get at other times. You ever smell something? If, if I suddenly smell this aroma of roast beef, which I don't eat, but if I smell it and it's a certain type of, of smell that reminds me of something, I could instantly be transported back, way back to another time, another place, where I met my grandmother's house on Sunday, and this smell was always there, and then it was repeated over and over every Sunday. Go to my grandmother's house, smell this, and then all of these sensations, these states and thoughts and feelings that I was feeling, long ago, when I was a completely different person, come flooding back into me. I can walk by a place where there's a bakery and smell the aroma of fresh baked bread, and then all of a sudden instantly be transported way back in time to another time, another place, back where I was in this place where there was a bakery, and then all these, all these experiences that I felt at that time come flooding back into me. These are just examples of normal, natural anchoring experiences. So if you want to excel at something, you might want to deliberately install anchors to experience the states that you need to succeed.